What is up, everyone? My name is Tony. Welcome back to my channel where I react to K-pop. If you're new here, welcome. Hope you enjoy my reaction. If you do, please consider liking and subscribing. It definitely helps me out. You can also feel free to follow me on Instagram and or Twitter if you are interested. Links are down in the description. I always follow back. Yeah, other than that, we're back with some ace. So before I get into this, I want to say I know... <laughs> I know in my last reaction, I did say that I would get into slow dive this week, but, but since Bjorn Kwan's birthday is coming up, I thought that it would be a bit more fun to kind of do a video like all about Bjorn Kwan. So I hope you guys are okay with that. I'll be back with slow dive next time. I promise. <laughs> I like I totally I literally had it in my mind that I wanted to do this and then I it left my mind how quickly his birthday was coming up <laughs> so sincerely apologize but um so yeah all about Bjorn Kwan today for his birthday so um I literally have like all of his pops and soul clips like I have all of his clips and then all of his like dance uh like dance teachings I don't know how to like his like dance how to's um tutorial <laughs> that's the word I was looking for sorry um so yeah I thought it'd be fun to kind of like mix those so I have like so I have like three videos of him kind of like doing like the talking portion like the first one is like cuter masculine let's learn more about the host um cake pop doll design by Bjorn Kwan, and then um a special segment that he's doing with guests the idols and then three of his how to's of um blackpink's how you like that and then stray kids god's menu and then their under undercover choreo and then at the end I have this portion of Pops and Soul where um, the other Ace members spill TMI about Bjorn Kwan, so I thought that would be, like, kind of fun to watch. So, sincerely apologize. I <laughs> I had this plan in my head, and, you know, time has just been moving on a lot quicker than I anticipated. Like, I don't understand how it's about to be mid-August already like that's wild to me anyway yeah life has just been very <laughs> it's been going very quickly okay anyway uh, let's hop into um is Bjorn Kwan cute or masculine masculine let's learn more about our new host <laughs> also I can't speak today so I sincerely apologize It's now time for K-Pop Insider, where we offer tips and pointers as well as insider information <laughs> Sorry, from I just hit my wrist. Hello, I'm Kim jong <laughs> the new face of Pops in Seoul. I was thinking about what would be the best topic for my first edition of K-Pop Insider, and I realized <laughs> that some of you probably don't know much about me and might want to get to know me better. So, today's K-pop insider will be a Q&A session. I will say that I've never actually watched like full-on Pops and Soul episodes. I've only seen like portions here and there. So this is like all new to me. Like I've especially mostly seen Felix's from Stray Kids. Like I've seen like his Pops and Soul like segments, but this is my first time watching it like full-on. Like you know what I mean? Where you can learn more about me 
your new host. How would you describe yourself? Cute or masculine? Mm, I'm actually a little bit of boss. <laughs> I was gonna say, I would say both. <laughs> I think we're all, well, maybe not How all, but I know I'm yourself? like that too. Sweet or sexy? Um, both. Again, I'm a bit of I would say both. both. <laughs> we love that about you, Bianquan. <laughs> Describe the three strengths you have. Um, tenacious. I'm fun. Uh, Tenacious fun. I'm a good dancer. And a good dancer. Name one thing you can do. I I have to say, like, Bianquan's English is so good. Like, like, I appreciate that he's, like, trying to use, like, a, a good, like, rounded vocabulary. Good you know what I mean? Like, host on Pops and Soul. Oh, I'm sorry, I like blanked on the question. I, I wasn't so. listening. Oh. Name one thing you can do better than the previous mm. posts on Pops and Soul. Oh. Um, <laughs> this is a. Hard I was gonna say, yeah. Well, I just want to say that I'll do my very best to provide you with. Great dance lessons on dance how to. <laughs> what part of your appearance do you like the most? Show us. Um, it be. My I love eyes. his. I was gonna say I love his eyes. What do you think? Show <laughs> us what a do you special think? talent you've never shown anyone before. I've actually revealed all my special talents before, so let me just show my impression of Donald the Dog. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't think I've uh, ever seen that before. <laughs> Kyo. <laughs> Boka, dance, or rap skills. Hey! Beautiful, 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 Aww. beautiful angel. I do like Love that song. Love you in perfections, every angle. Tomorrow comes and goes before you know. So I just had to let you know. So, <laughs> kind of like the lyrics of- I like, so, I love this idea of like this pops and soul and like, being able to kind of reach out to the English speaking viewers but at the same time I do feel a bit of this like awkwardness because I mean they're basically like sitting there at a desk alone like staring at the camera and when I tell you like when I first started my YouTube channel I felt so awkward sitting here talking to a camera like it's so weird and it takes a it takes a while to start feeling comfortable just sitting here talking about things like because technically I'm talking to myself <laughs> you know what I mean but like but knowing that it's eventually going to be uploaded onto YouTube for like others to see and kind of interact with me that way so I like I get where I get where Bian Kwan's awkwardness is coming from because I've been there and I know how it feels and it's just strange. But also the added fact that he probably has like a bunch of like production staff that are also like standing there staring at him talk. And I feel like that would make it even like that would make it even more comfortable uncomfortable for me. Beautiful angel to you guys. To all the pop viewers. I'm going so to adorable. do my best to bring you guys a great show every single day. So, keep tuning in and show me your support. Thank you. So, 
How did you enjoy learning more about me? Are there other questions that you have or is there a side of me that you'd like to see? I'll try to satisfy your curiosity over time. So, keep on tuning into our show <laughs> that brings us to the end of K-pop Insider so for cute. today. Please look forward to our next edition. <laughs> so like, genuine question, like, are there like specific things that he's like reading off of a prompt it seems like some things are prompted to him that he has to like read right off of a i monitor i guess but then like there's other portions where it seems like he's just talking genuinely so i'm like uh, yeah genu i'm like curious about how that works because i i just don't know okay here's the only k-pop doll Designed by Bianquan. <laughs> that sounds interesting. It's now time for K-Pop Insider, where we offer tips and pointers, as well as insider information for K-Pop fans. K-Pop fans have a special kind of- Can I just say, I love Bianquan's red hair era. Over, fight over what kind of accommodation- He looks good with red hair. Or what to eat when traveling. Plus, they make great companions to take pictures. I'm talking about idol toys. Idol plush toys, dolls, figures, and so on are designed based on the distinct features and characteristics of the K-pop idol stars. They are supposed to represent. There is actually one of these toys designed after me. So look it up if you get a chance and well, <laughs> There is something that makes these toys even more fun and interesting, and it's the fact that you can adorn them with different clothes and other items. There are actually places dedicated to selling clothes and other accessories for these types of toys. So, today, Wild. I'm going to do one. Like, I know that that exists, but it's just like. Present to you a travel look for your. Idol toy! First of all, my all-time favorite trip would have to be my trip to Zermatt, Switzerland. I got to go paragliding from the mountains that, that sounds were so very fun. grand and majestic and looked very different oh. from the mountains in Korea. Plus, I got to ride What's a Monster Bike I got to create lots of great memories. And Aww. you know, when you're traveling, it's a great idea to take photos. That's why I pay a lot of attention to what I wear. I usually go for a dandy fashion style, wearing slacks with a blazer. Let's get started. Bianquan's drawing skills. <laughs> Looks like mine. <laughs> oh, it's too hard. He really is, though. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> That's literally how I draw, too. <laughs> Stick figures only. <laughs> What do you guys think? <laughs> what I'm hoping for <laughs> is that I'll get a toy that looks just like me in an outfit created based on this design. <laughs> oh. 
and perhaps <laughs> some of you could take the phone to laugh so bad. and take pictures with it and post them online. Seeing that would Aww. make me ecstatic. Aww. Well, I'll keep working very hard in hopes that that day will come soon. Fighting! <laughs> Aww. That brings us to the end. Are there ace dolls? Why aren't there ace dolls if they're not? No, today's I imagine Choice would be buying ace I'll be dolls. Back next week with another awesome topic for you, diehard K pop fans. I love these cute little clips. Okay. Byungkwan has prepared a special segment. Guess the idols. Who's that? The show for and by K popers. The segment to encourage and educate K pop fans. K pop insider. Are you a K pop expert? Do you want to find out? I've prepared a special segment for today. If you're a K pop fan or if you're a popcorn, you should recognize a K pop star by just looking at one part of, one their, part face. of their face. Today, We'll be generous and show you the eyes, nose, and lips. You have to guess the idol star from looking at the eyes, nose, and lips. This is a practice question. Can you guess who this is? It is BTS's Jungkook. Do you get the game now? Let's begin. I'll be playing with okay. you guys. So let's play a fair game. <laughs> he looks familiar, but I really don't know. Oh, okay. I'm not familiar with Pentagon, but I know, but I do know who he is, so that's why. Pets. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. It is hard. Ah, so this challenge is difficult. First, I'm wearing twice's hat. You're doing better than me, BK. This <laughs> Zico. See, I listen to some of Zico's music, but I'm not familiar with like who he actually is. Oh. I'm just gonna watch because I was thinking it was Blackpink, but I'm not good at this at all. Oh, you guys, so Dun Bite, Jomul, Bonica, Wonder Girls, Soi, Sambenimi, Anika. Sorry. 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 I'll be there. Are you? Are okay. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> I was gonna say if he gets his own oh, face wrong. Instagram Chedan Shigan Pengman Palor Kinese Uli Shinuri Kang Daniel Ni. Oh I enjoy I enjoy his music oh, as well. Oh. 
Wow, it was so difficult. <laughs> For real. I'm sure our K-pop fan Popcorns got a lot of questions, <gasps> right? Tell me how many points you got through the Pops in Seoul Facebook or Twitter. That's it for today's K-Pop Insider. I'll be back next week with more fun content. <laughs> He's so cute. Okay, let's watch his dance how-tos. How you like that? Dance how-to! Time to be the trendy K-popper by learning the hottest point dances of the hottest stars. Dance out to! <laughs> I should have covered this dance a long time ago, but I'm happy that I get to do it today. This song has been breaking many records. The music video passed 86.3 million views on the day of its release, and it was ranked for the five Guinness World Records including most viewed YouTube video in 24 hours. Each time this group releases a new song, countless fans make dance covers. They are the K-pop girl group that is receiving the most global love right now. Today's dance out to is Blackpink is... How you like that? Through Turu Turu and Kill This Love, Blackpink has come out with incredible and unique performances. Let's find out which performance they captured the global K-pop fans with this time. I do enjoy some Blackpink. Pose like this, lean to the left, come down, move your right hand. Does BK have his fingernails done? <gasps> yes. Can I just say I love when men paint their fingernails? Like, it's a thing for me. I just, I Put love that. Back, then step back. And it hit your right hand forward. One, two, then your left hits your hips. Boom. Then lean right. Bam. Bounce twice. One, two. Step with your right foot and point. Then turn. Point your right hand. Then I just like this. Can I just say like, <laughs> you know that someone is a dancer whenever they're like trying to explain choreo to you with sounds <laughs> like it's such a thing like it's like hit the boom and the, <laughs> it's such a like boom, it's so funny boom, to me boom. bounce your hip <laughs> twice boom boom gesture. i love it and move your right hand like this <laughs> then your left hand goes back Cover your lips. Move positions like this. Go down. Right leg, left leg, right leg. Go back. Flip your hair back. <laughs> and bend your right hand. Yes, right BK, foot, get left it. Foot, right foot, stop. Right foot, left foot, <laughs> right foot, stop. A part of me really wants to like. A part of me really wants to use his like how tos to learn choreo. Stand up with your right hand up. Then move with a free gesture. Then shake your legs. Right, left, right, left, and point four times. And you're done. <laughs> I 
I wish... I kind of wish they wouldn't go in so close with the camera while he's doing the segment that he just taught. Like, I, I would rather, like, to see, like, a full... A full view of him, like, feet and everything doing the dance. That's just me. So you can get like a full picture of how the dance is supposed to look. Oh. Bless your heart. Thank you. <laughs> I think he does a really good job explaining, though. This is why people go crazy over Blackpink. I hope you had fun learning the dance which showed Blackpink's unique colors. How You Like That is just a pre-release song for their full-length album. Their real title track will be released later on, so I will make sure to reserve it for Dance Out 2 when it comes out in September. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think he explains things pretty simply, and I also like that with these videos you can like continue to go back and um you can continue to go back and like watch watch it as many times as you need to to like fully learn it you know what I mean because sometimes you're like watching it and like you're understanding what he's saying but to then put that into motion is like a totally different thing you know what I mean so it's sometimes you have to keep going back to like watch it over and over again to like fully understand the moves, you know? Okay, I'm excited. Whoa, stop. I'm excited for God's Menu because I freaking love Stray Kids. Like, Stray Kids was one of like the first groups that I like really, really got into aside from BTS um, when I first got into K pop. So, Stray Kids will always have a special place in my heart. Um, and also, God's Menu choreo is like just so catchy um so i'm excited for this one <laughs> just <Dance kidding>. <laughs> Time to be the trendiest K-popper by learning the hottest point dances of the hottest stars <laughs> dance out to popcorns you've been waiting i love his outfit dance out to right Today's star will make it worth the wait. It's not ace. <laughs> you have to wait a bit more for us to come out. So, who is it? It's the group that opens up the stage with Sonim and Oso Shipsho. <laughs> this boy group has released their new song, which is about satisfying everyone's taste with the never before seen cooking performance. These eight boys have been showing a shocking concept. It's Stray Kids! I was really surprised when I saw the God's Menu performance. Do, 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 do. Especially <laughs> this part, but this is just the tip of the iceberg. There are more unique and surprising dances. So, let's learn them. Here is Stray Kids' God's Menu Dance Out 2. <laughs> I just, I sincerely love the choreo for this song. And also the camera work in this music video. Okay, let's start. Do this with your hands. Do, 
Do, do, do, do. <laughs> like cooking, then hold your position and go to the right, back and forth. One, two, three. Then tilt your head and arm. One, two, three. Turn your left arm. Then one more time. One, two, three. Swing your right arm and leg. Hold position. Then salute. 네, 손님. Then do a move like you're cooking. Do, 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 do. Move positions. Turn. Bring your hand up and hit your hand and head three times. Do, do, do. Right foot, left foot, right foot. Put your hands on your chest. Change your foot and put your arms out. Then come down. Throw up. Then step back. Go to the left. Right foot back. Then circle your body. Lift your foot. <coughs> then look forward. And do the same move. Do, do, do. Then do the same cooking move again. Do, 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 do. And then jump and hit. Turn your arms and go left. One, two, then spread your legs and your arms go right, left. Move place, hit, go left twice. One, two, and go like this. One, two, three, four. Do a freestyle gesture and move twice. Stand in place, then one, two, three, and do the same cooking move again. Dun, 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 dun. Hands together. Bow. And you're done. <laughs> <laughs> Killing it. I can't wait to see like the full the full cam version. <laughs> oh good. I like how they're also giving like a mirror version too, so like you can see. Killed it. Way to go, BK. With God's Menu, Stray Kids has become the master of performances. How did you like today's lesson? Was it fun? Since the song and dance was about cooking, I feel full even though I didn't eat. <laughs> I hope Stray Kids will continue to be loved for a long, long time. Let's go ahead and watch the God's Menu music video. Dance Out 2 for the second week of July is done. It's so fun. I love watching these. Yeah, I definitely think he explains things really well. It's now time for Dance How To. Undercover! Where I help you master some of the most sensational K pop. I definitely dance really want to learn this one. I heard that this segment is actually one of the most popular segments on Pop Sin Soul. So I was feeling half nervous and half excited when I was preparing today's dance <laughs> I guess 
Samuel and Felix did an amazing job considering how popular this segment is. And I'll try to do my very best to live up to your expectations. Since this would be the very first dance lesson I give you on the show, I decided to teach you a dance sequence that I can do best. And it's part of the choreography for Ace's Undercover! <laughs> And if you weren't aware, I'm actually the main dancer of Ace. So get ready to be surprised. Let's get it. So if you're ready, let's I'm get excited started. to learn this. Put the palms of your hands together and put them up. Then rush forward. As for the sequence of the leg movement, it's left, left, right, left, right. And then swing your right arm and step on your left foot. While you're bouncing your body, move your arm right, left, right. Then hit, hit, pull it in and cross your arms very quickly. Jump up, pound down with your right hand twice. Your right wrist should be on your left hand. As you bring down your arm, jump up, and as for the footwork that follows, step on your left foot, and right, and then left. Turn your head like this, kick, kick, and then move your body toward your hands twice. Tap, tap, and raise both your hands, and... Bounce, bounce. Turn around and get into your position. And just see, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Whenever, whenever a choreographer is teaching choreo, they there's always going to be some moments in the dance, like how BK was good, saying before, like freestyle, do freestyle this part. So it's basically do whatever you want as long as it goes with the flow of the song. And then there's parts like this where it's like, we're going to go from this, from this spot in the song and then you're going to have to move over to this spot and continue the choreo. But they never tell you how to get to that spot. So it's kind of one of those things where like, you're basically having to figure it out on your own. Like, how am I going to get from this spot to this spot without making it look awkward and making it look natural as a part of the song? That's what that's what I was talking about before with Ace's choreo. They're so good at, at doing these transitions without any unnecessary steps. Um, that, like, that's... I don't know if you, like... If I was explaining to myself properly but like this is exactly what I mean like it's literally like okay you ended here now you need to go over here and continue the choreo and it's like okay but like how do I get to there <laughs> they don't tell you you gotta figure it out on your own <laughs> so yeah I just I just wanted to mention like that's exactly what I was talking about like that's whenever a choreographer is teaching you the choreo like that's what they're gonna say like okay from here to here go and you're just like <laughs> but Ace's transitions and changing to formation is so seamless. Like, I really enjoy their choreo when Next. it comes to that. Left. Right. Left. Jump and then, as soon as you land, bounce your body twice. Kick, kick, stretch, and walk. And wrap things up in a sexy way. <laughs> sexy pose. <laughs> it's end. <laughs> it's just so fast, like.
Like, what, like, see how long it took him to explain that choreo versus how long it took him to dance it? <laughs> like, there's so much happening in their choreo, but it goes so fast that it's like, ugh. So, how did you enjoy today's dance how to? I wonder whether you found it easy or difficult. <laughs> Now, <laughs> you can leave me your feedback or even request a dance lesson by leaving me a message on Popsin Soul's social Aww, media page. that's cool. I can't wait to hear from you. <laughs> yeah, he's really good at explaining things. I like listening to him explain things a lot. Okay, let's hop into the Popsin Soul Ace Spill Some TMI about Bianca. It's now time for... Idol TMI, where we offer you tidbits about K-pop artists that you might not even want or need to know, but the knowledge of which may come in handy. That you might not even want. <laughs> Today's Idol TMI is going to be quite special because there are some people who volunteer to come on our show to provide <laughs> you with the TMI. So, aren't you curious as to who it is? Then, here it is! Wow! 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 Too <laughs> 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 <la�> <laughs> 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 <la�> <la�> <laughs> 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 <la�> <la�> <laughs> 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 <la�> <laughs> 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 Wow's gonna spill some tea. Let's get ready.
제가 못 끄거든요. 그래서 처음에는 뭔가나 일어나, 뭔가나 일어나 했는데 안 일어나요. 그리고 안 꺼요. 그래서 제가 안 되겠다. 이거 내가 꺼야 되겠다. 그러면서 끌어 갔는데 비밀번호가 안 되는 거예요. 그래서 한번 이렇게 탁 해가지고 얼른 끈 적이 있고 근데 이게 이게 계속 안 되니까 나중에는 제가 이제 핸드폰을 끄거든요. 아, 핸드폰을 끌수 있죠. 전원을 꺼버리면 이제 안 되니까 그렇게 한 20번 정도 그래서, 그래서 방관이 형이 그 저번에 형이랑 그 싸웠구나. 왜? 네? 핸드폰 전원 꺼. 이거 아니, 이거 아니. 아니, 아니. 잘못했네. 한창에서 한창에서. 왜 왜였어, 왜였어, 왜이래? 약간 좀그 노이즈가 좀 있다. 모지 형으로 들어봤더니 약간 핸드폰 왜? 아. 아, 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 아